آزادی بیان یعنون زیو فری سپیچ that Malaysia is the most corrupt country in the world this is why my team today is to fight through cartoon so I want to fight this government the Malaysian government I want to fight I want to free Malaysian I want to to push for total reform through cartoon we need to change the federal government only that we can rebuild the nation if not there is nothing we can do so, so the way I draw cartoon is like this I will collect the information first because this is a political cartoon political cartoon must be presented with full facts newspaper in Malaysia cannot be trusted nobody believe newspaper what whatever written in Malaysia so people go to internet the internet sometimes the rumors is more credible than than newspaper so, and if there is a protest I will go there and I will try to see I will try to feel the sentiment of those who protest so that that is the process of getting an information so after that I make up a stand so my stand is on this issue issue is like this this is my stand then after I get stand then only I I find the joke and the joke must be in line with my stand so the joke of political cartoon is, is to criticize the government of the day but for me is 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 more the job is more harder because i need to fight not only to criticize the government in malaysia the most powerful person is the wife of the prime minister is not prime minister so so she got a very big hand if you see from rear it look like a a chair but you see from front you you, you look that actually she is the one who control the prime minister in my cartoon i will show that actually we are the one the peoples are the one who pay for their corruption the government will continue will introduce good and services tax they will collect about 27 billion yeah our own our money yeah and bring it but the corruption is 40 billion per year So the people pay GST for them to steal. This is your money. You are the one who pay for their corruption. Okay, this is sedition act. The sedition act is something that anything you do, if the government don't agree, they can say they're seditious and they can come and detain you. I've been under sedition act twice. If you say something the government don't like, they can go and charge you because the interpretation of the sedition act is very wide you have freedom of speech but people interpret it in a different way and use it for their own benefit to make sure that they stay in power those who are put in prison are activists bloggers lecturers ngo cartoonists but those who in power are all the corruption corruptors you know robber rapists also be in power so this is to, uh, the issue of cutting subsidy the government of malaysia cut a subsidy a, a petrol uh, subsidy to the people which is about uh, 10 billion a year the government say that as prime minister holding the caesar the government say that now the government is unable to provide a subsidy to the people but they can continue to give a subsidy to the crony to the crony which is about 20 billion a year but they can do that but when come to the people They cut the subsidy. Okay. This I want to compare three leaders. Mahathir is a ex prime minister. He he got brain, but no heart. The next, uh, the previous prime minister, he got no brain, but he got heart. It's a good people. And the current prime minister got no brain, got no heart. That, that's the, the problem we are facing now. Okay, next. Okay, this is the how the Malaysia <laughs> become the champion of corruption. You know, <laughs> Mugabe become number two already. You know, we are the the champion. 
Because is you know that previous election, the opposition uh, got 52% popular vote. But the government still rule. That's how, how flawed the system is, you know. Okay. There are some cases involved a Prime Minister in Malaysia where he got a kickback in Paris for purchasing a submarine. He, he took the money and and come to, to food, he said, where can I find, find halal food? Can you ask for halal money instead? You know, <laughs> halal money, they don't say halal food. Non-halal money is the more, more crime than non-halal food. You know? uh, this is the, how, the, this is Malaysian flag. How they use this flag to, to control people. You know, in Malaysia normally, flag is the symbol of Patriotism. So the government will say, everybody, you know, during the independent day, everybody please show your flag. This is only flag. And those who finally show flag, that means you are the supporter of government. They put it that way. So the flag being used actually to control the people for 57 days. You can only ban my book. You can only ban my magazine, my publication, but you can't ban my mind. So I say, I will keep drawing cartoon until the last drop of my ink. Free speech.